I messed this thing up. How's it going, everybody? I'm Nikki Delventhal, and this is my dog, Camper Delventhal. We live in a 2006 Toyota Prius, and we're here to take you along on the wild ride. So fasten up your seatbelts and let's have some fun. Don't forget, if you like what you see, like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends, and turn on notifications. Camper and I would be so thankful. On last week's episode, Hotel Prius makes its way to the land of extremes, Death Valley. And our adventure here was no short of exactly that, extreme. After a relaxing evening at our dispersed campsite, and some encouragement from our neighbors. Somebody will rescue you. Let me get a map. We decided to take the Prius off-roading. The little Prius that could! I know, it's amazing! <laughs> to see the mysterious sailing rocks. And they did not disappoint. We made it back in one piece. The Hotel Prius, not so much. <laughs> well, at least it's just the plastic. You can hear it while I'm driving. Whatever. We'll just duct tape that later. We left off our adventures waking up to the beautiful Death Valley sunrise. Good morning. Stretch it out, man. Your ass was snoring all night. Are you trying to tell your side of the story? Before the big day ahead, we got in some snuggles, prepared and cleaned the car. That's so much dust. What side is dirtier? I can't tell. They're both so dirty. Oh my gosh, my car is disgusting. Oh, and this is why we never film from the back. Checked the damage from off-roading. Oh no, yep, I'm still dragging. Let's take a poll. How long do we think it will take for me to fix the plastic piece dragging on the ground? A month? A week? Days? You guessed it. No, we didn't fix the car, but we did explore around the campground a bit. The landscapes out here are just so diverse. And this is just the start. I mean, look at this. Then we played a bit to get some energy out before grabbing some coffee at the local store. BYOM. Bring your own milk. Cleaning up the dust. Oh God, it's so dusty in here. And hit the road. And now while we're, you hear that? So yesterday was more off the beaten path Death Valley that you won't really see. Today, I'm gonna show you all the places that you must go that are super close to each other and something you do in one full day trip that you wanna start early. We're getting a little late start, it's 8 a.m. You ready, Cam? Let's do it. First stop and in eyesight of where we stayed last night, we are hitting up the famous sand dunes. Though these are not the only in the park, these sand dunes are the best known and easiest to get to, covering a vast area. Just look at it out here. It's sand dunes for miles. Wow. Though the majority of people may expect Death Valley to be covered in sand, Less than 1% of the entire 3.4 million acre park features these types of dunes. With a ton on the agenda, we took in the views from afar and continued the fun-filled day. Jeez Louise, there's so much sand in here, uh, which means these socks are probably... <laughs> How are we doing, Camptastic? King of the Prius. Good camper, another puppy. Second stop of the day is Harmony Borax Works. This was Death Valley's first borax operations from 1883 to 1888. A lot of people frenzied here looking for gold and other metals, but here they found borax. No. Oh my gosh, this is painful even just to lift the lever. 
Does this also want to make anyone cry? Okay, we're going to get every last drop that we can. All right, next stop on the road trip is the Brisky Point. It's also the stop for a lot of other people. say though there won't be much activity over the next week gotta make sure this knee rehabs next up the gorgeous jaw-dropping artist drive a fully paved nine mile one-way loop though due to the roads dips and curves vehicles over 25 feet in length are not permitted on this drive there are a ton of places to stop on the side of the road just to take in the views but the most popular of them all being Artist Palette, one of the most photographed locations in the park. Look at these colors. Oh my gosh. And your eyes are not deceiving you. These colors are actually what they are. The purples, the greens, the blues, the reds. It's unbelievable. Hello, good boy. Hi. Oh, it's nice and cold in here. Can you go back, please? Our last and final stop is one of my favorites. Last time I was here, it was 124 degrees Fahrenheit and it was during the summer. Uh, it is now February and it's 88 degrees. Still really hot. Uh, we are officially at the lowest point in the United States, 282 feet below sea level. And uh, what else will we do at the lowest point in the US besides have one of our famous bag salads before we check this out? Shake, shake. One day this is gonna pop, but until that day happens, we're fine. Bag salad a la bad water basin. This is a very, very long walk. These look much different than they did before. So these are usually a lot whiter, or at least from what I remember. These hexagonal shapes are usually a bright white color. I asked one of the rangers at the park and they said that the salt pans had turned brown after recent rains a few months ago. They're not sure why, but all the same, they are still mind blowing. You guys, it is hot out. Camper is hanging out in the AC. All right, I've never taken this way out of Death Valley, so we're gonna try it. Are you kidding me? I just got so excited thinking that was a Planet Fitness so I could take a shower. And it's not, in case you were wondering, it's fireworks. Hell yes. Well, we might not be able to shower off yet, 
but at least the car can. Believe it or not, after two and a half years of living in a car, this is my first time showering at Planet Fitness. I can confirm that was amazing and I have been missing out. There will be a lot more of that. I'm also, I'm, I'm allergic to something. My face is blowing up. <laughs> Fun. Uh, Death Valley hit me hard. How about you, Camp? Okay, no minute parking. Okay, I've been looking all over the area. There's not even like, it's just like there's nowhere to sleep for like 45 minutes. But there's one other Planet Fitness, so I don't know. I'm gonna try that. Oh yeah, this one will work. We've got a few vans here, sweet. Moments like this, it's very important to be discreet. So I just set up the car with all of the lights off uh, so we didn't draw any attention. So now the car is like 100% ready to go. I have my bag and stuff on Camper's front seat because he's been snuggling a lot this week and that's ready to go. So I'm gonna turn this off. I love you all. Good night and we'll see you in the morning. Good morning, camper. Look at that sun shining. It was surprisingly quiet last night with the windows open. That was amazing. I'm gonna slide into the front seat here. Oh. Oh, I just smacked my head on the, on the mirror. God, I hit it so hard I forgot that what that was called. Look how cozy my Prius looks. Not clean, but super cozy. Any time now, lady. <laughs> oh, there's a bunch of car dwellers here. Okay. This guy just poured out both of his pee cups and then left the cups on the ground. This is why we keep getting kicked out of places. That guy just dropped those pee cups and he's not cleaning them. Are you kidding me? We'll see if those are there later because I'm going to come back to clean it up. If he doesn't, that's not cool. On that note, it was time for some coffee and to fix up the old Prius. Our car is pretty messed up. Like there's stuff dragging. Um, so I bought some air filters because obviously going to need that after the desert. But my check engine light has also been on. So we got the car scanned, which is free at most auto parts stores. Wow, so nothing's wrong with it. No, just a huh, Nothing's wrong with the car. Look at that bad boy. Wow, I messed this thing up. <laughs> that looks good. Whoever did my oil change forgot about these, so I just got those too. We also hit up a tire shop to make sure our tires were still okay. <laughs> Camper, I'm so dirty. Uh, oh. Can you use wet wipes? Ooh, you dirty girl. Huh, not too shabby. Look at these nasty things. Next up on the agenda, the dog park. But you found it. Hi. <laughs> you want this? You want this? Go get it. Boy, you got that ball. This has been a good day so far, huh? All right, it's time to eat a little bit. We are so hungry. Think I can get in this fridge, please? No, excuse me. Today, instead of the bag salad, we are making the box salad. Here you go. <laughs> we had fun at the dog park, didn't we?
If you don't like salads, it's because you're not putting enough toppings. We go hard. We had a fun day, didn't we? Yeah. Time to settle in at the Planet Fitness. First with a workout and some physical therapy. Took Camper on another walk. You guys see this crap? It's that dude's cup. Huh. If you guys know the guy that did this, give him a hard time. Tell him he's not All right, plan a fitness shower time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and turn on notifications. And if you'd like all of our videos early access and during that time completely ad-free, join our Patreon for as low as $1 a month. Have a great day. We love you all.